Oliver, I'm going to tell you what I know about the grocery industry in the UK. You ready? I'm ready. Hit me with it's it. awful. Very price sensitive consumers, commodity product, massive overcapacity, as anyone who's walked down a British high street knows. And there is major disruptive competition from the internet. Worst business I've ever heard of. Now, Morrison's, one of the three big chains in the UK, has given us some news today. Does any of it convince me to change my firmly held opinion about this industry? Well, the news that Morrison's has given us on what's been happening in the past six months wouldn't change your opinion one little bit. Mm. It's been another month of, of awful trading with sales numbers down and profit numbers down. The, the only number you really need to know about is the return on capital, which was a, a touch over 5%, mm. which is pretty awful generally. But this Unless is you're a bank. Unless you're a bank, in which case it's marvellous. Mm. But it, it's pretty, pretty awful anyway, and this is a company that was making about 10% four or five years ago. Mm. So uh, that's all you need to know. It continues to be awful. Yet, there is a new chief executive, David Potts, who's been in the job for around about six months, and, and he's got plans to, to change all that and turn it to something in, into something that you might actually like. Let's hear it. Well, what he's got planned is in some ways quite counterintuitive. For years and years, all of the British supermarkets have been telling us, you know, it's not about the big standard supermarkets anymore. It's all about convenience stores mm. and it's all about the internet and it's yes. all about click and collect, all this kind of thing. David Potts is saying, no, our big focus is going to be our portfolio of 500 standard supermarkets. You know, I, fi I find this kind of appealing, frankly, for the following reason. If you look at the businesses of the other major chains, they're talking about these doodads off to the side that they're so excited about. But if you look at their absolute size, you realize it's sort of a joke. In other words, if they don't fix their core business, all the convenience stores in England aren't going to help them. So yeah. maybe, you know, you take the attitude, well, here's a guy who knows what it's really all about. You're right, and, and, and it, it is quite appealing. It's a kind of a back-to-basic strategy. It says we're going to listen to our customers, and we're mm. going to listen to our staff, and we're going to refresh the stores, and we're going to, to keep the prices low and look at the service offering, all kinds of stuff, and really get the, the portfolio run, running smoothly. And if you can do that, that's very good. The question really is how much the, the success of that will be down to his efforts in sprucing up the portfolio and how much uh, it will be down to the growth or otherwise of the internet and convenience stores. If the market continues to go towards the internet and convenience stores and discount as well, it doesn't matter how good his stores are, people are still going to go to these other channels. So he needs stabilization of the industry in order for his strategy to uh, let him outperform his competitors. Absolutely, yes. But I, I, I do think that if if that happens, he, he should do very well. He's got a long experience in retailing, David Potts, a lot of it at Tesco, and he should be able to get the stores doing better, but he needs help from the rest of the sector trends, really. Oliver, I'm feeling a very tiny little bit more optimistic. Thanks very much.